let's solve some simple interest problems the first one is this some money was borrowed at 10 percent interest rate per annum for two years what was the principal if the amount returned after two years was 1920 rupees now if you look at this it talks about the amount returned so what is the formula for the amount returned the formula is a equals p plus i a is the amount p is the principal and i is the interest and the formula for calculating simple interest is prt divided by 100 and we know that p is principal r is rate of interest and t is period of time if you take the value of i from the second formula and put that in the first formula the first formula looks like this a equals p plus prt divided by 100 that means you have replaced i by the second formula let's look at our problem now it says that borrowed at 10 percent interest rate per annum that means r is 10 per annum annum means per year so this is the 10 percent interest rate per year and this is borrowed for two years that means t equals 2 and the amount returned after two years was 1920 that means 1920 is the amount which is a let's take all these values and put in our formula so it looks like this 1920 equals p plus p multiplied by 10 multiplied by 2 divided by 100 so we have all the values except for p why p is not there because p is the principal that is what we are supposed to find out now this problem has reduced to just solving an equation this looks like an equation problem like a single variable equation problem so if you look at the right hand side numerator it says p multiplied by 10 multiplied by 2 so it's really 10 to the 20 that means it's really 20 p so what we get is this p plus 20 p divided by 100 equals 1920 i have swapped the sides here that means i have exchanged the sides just to get the variable on the left hand side just to make it look easy you can swap the sides in an equation it does not change its value so now my equation looks like this p plus 20p divided by 100 equals 1920 20 ones are 20 and 25 are 100 so the equation looks like this p plus 1 over 5 p equals 1920 now if you look at the first p it does not have any coefficient that means what's its coefficient that means its coefficient is 1 so our equation is really like this 1p plus 1 over 5p equals 1920 let's add both the p's so what we get is 1 and 1 over 5p equals 1920 now we know how to convert this mixed number to an improper fraction 5 ones are 5 plus 1 equals 6 so 6 over 5p equals 1920 now our job is to make sure that we isolate p here isolate the variable isolate means leave it alone so to isolate that let's multiply both the sides by 5 over 6 when you multiply 6 over 5 by 5 over 6 both the 6's and both the 5's get cancelled out and on the right hand side divide 1920 by 6 1920 divided by 6 equals 320 6 3s are 18 remainder is 1 6 2s are 12 and then there is 0 that's how you get 320 that means p equals 320 multiplied by 5 320 multiplied by 5 is 1600 0. 5 times 300 equals 1500 and 20 times 5 is 100 so what we get is 1600 
that means the principal is 1600 rupees because p is the principal here let's solve one more problem like this some money was borrowed at 8% interest rate per annum for 4 years. What was the principal if the amount returned after 2 years was 3960? Again, the amount returned is given and we have to calculate the principal. So the formula for amount is A equals P plus I. And the formula for interest for simple interest is PRT divided by 100. And we know what I, P, R and T stand for. So let's put the value of I from the second formula in the first formula. So the formula looks like this. A equals P plus P R T divided by 100. Let's go back to the problem. We can see that 8 is the rate of interest here. And we know that per annum means per year. And the money is borrowed for 4 years, so T equals 4. And they have said that the amount returned is 3960. That means 3960 is A. Let's put all these values in the formula. So we get 3960 equals P plus P multiplied by 8 multiplied by 4 divided by 100. If you look at the right hand side numerator, 8 fours are 32, so what we get is 32p and let's swap the sides. So the equation looks like p plus 32p divided by 100 equals 3960. Again the problem is very simple now, it is just like solving any single variable equation problem. Now consider the left hand side where the first p doesn't have any coefficient when the coefficient is not written it is actually 1 so the equation looks like this 1p plus 32 over 100p equals 3960 when you add both the p's what you get is 1 and 32 over 100p equals 3960 now what we have is a mixed number here let's convert that to an improper fraction 100 ones are 100 plus 32 is 132 so 132 over 100 p equals 3960 now let's multiply both the sides by 100 so this is what we get on the left hand side the hundreds cancel out so what we get is 132 p and on the right, right hand side 3960 multiplied by 100 adds Two more zeros at the end. Now to isolate the variable p, let's divide both the sides by 132. That means we get p equals 396000 divided by 132. 100 threes are 300 and 32 threes are 96. That means the answer of the division is 3000. So p equals 3000. That means the principal is 3000 rupees. So if you look at the problem, it says some money was borrowed. So the money borrowed, which is principal, equals 3000 rupees.